are you like this? There is no your half of the money. There is only my all of it. This is a breakdown of Breaking Bad Season 2, Episode 4, Down. We're back to the teddy bear flash forward, continuing where it left off in episode one. This shot is mirrored for some reason, as the damage is on the opposite side of its face. Now we see someone in a hazmat suit collect all kinds of evidence, including glasses that look like Walt's. Hmm. Jesse meets Walt at the Tri-H Gas and Go, which has an odd looking sign. I thought they were redacting part of the name, but it actually looks like that in real life. No cooking until things settle down. Rest of what? Hey, half your money's mine. Let's be cool. No contact. Understood? Oh, 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 I leave first. I didn't know you were allowed to touch a stove. Hilarious, Groucho. The pancakes in the pan go from two to one, back to two, while everyone's talking. Dad's cooking breakfast. But don't worry, I'm also doing all the dishes. Walt's plan for making amends is to be overly attentive and try to have family conversations. Our son doesn't know who Boscag is. We have failed as parents. There's a, uh, a fiction writer's seminar at UNM. You know, probably talking about how to get published. This suggestion is a callback to the pilot. You know, I was thinking about what you asked me the other night. You know, you were, you were wondering if I had a, a second cell phone. And here we go. And uh, well, I've been thinking about that a lot. And I think what you heard was my cell phone alarm going off. Walt over explains things when he lies and Skylar doesn't buy yeah, it. I've been using it a lot as a medication reminder to uh, well, remind me to take my medication. Skyler? Ready? Yo, for what? Might help. Jesse Bruce Pinkman. Here's the reveal of his middle name. You're kicking me out of my own house? It's your Aunt Ginny's house. And she gave it to me. This eviction storyline was invented because of the sale of Jesse's real life house, even though they did recreate some of it as a set. A DEA agent came looking for you, Jesse. I've actually been helping them which I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you so. You're welcome. I saw your basement. Vacate the house in 72 hours. Otherwise, your parents have authorized me to contact the authorities. This sunset looks fake, like they colored most of the blue sky orange, which tinted just the top of this tree. I was thinking about going back to those meetings, the cancer support group. I think that's great. Yeah. Skylar is still giving Walt the cold shoulder. Jesse. Just then, Jesse's eyes flash toward the camera. And during the next camera angle switch, Jesse's mom's arms go from this position to folded. Hey! Hey! What the hell, yo? I thought this was just a wake up call. We are putting it in storage. When you decide to grow up, you can have it back. You decided to, oh, I don't know, make your eldest son homeless? Wow! Great family, mom! Why are you like this? Why? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know, sweetheart. But please, turn your life around. Yeah, this is gonna help big time with that, bitch! Flynn and me gotta get going. Who's Flynn? Flynn, he's your, uh... Flynn? Yeah. So? I made omelets. I'm going out, but thanks, though. Where are you going? Can you get the phone, please? Where are you going? Um, can you at least tell me that? Oh. Ooh. You should probably get that wall. What? Yo, I get I shouldn't call, but I'm in a situation over here and I need my money. I just gave you $600. Yeah, and thanks, Daddy Warbucks, but that was before my housing situation went completely testicular on me, okay? When the moment is right, I will call Mr. you Mr. White, again. you're not no, listening! No, no, no! Right. to kick me out of my house! Ah! Ah! Jesse's down, Walt's down, Skyler's down, so this is ostensibly the reason for the episode title. Jesse tries to crash at his old friend Paul's place for a bit. Black is the color, but beauty is the game. You can see the original music video for this song in Breaking Bad's mini-sode number three. Fallacies, 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 fallacies. And apparently fallacies, Vince Gilligan co-wrote this masterpiece fallacies. of a song. Hey, honey, you remember Jesse uh, Pinkman? His house is getting bug bombed, and I said he could crash a few nights. Hey, Jesse. Hey. Uh, Paul, could you help me in the bedroom with these? Jesse's plan is foiled by a disapproving wife. <laughs> Man, uh, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kill me. I 
totally spaced that the in-laws are crashing this weekend. You, you got other people to call? I know, that's, that's cool. I got tons of people, yeah. Yeah? Look, I already called Badger, all right? I called everyone. I need a solid here, bro. You cannot be serious! Hey, someone took your bike, man. Not cool. Jesse's last remaining option is to sleep in the RV that Badger's cousin is still storing. <laughs> Jesse's now literally down. Although if we look closer at this, I think it's safe to say that's not Aaron Paul performing the stunt. And the roof is already in pieces at the start. Instead of the porta potty fall, this scene was originally going to have a guard dog bite Jesse as he breaks in, but it costs too much to do that. Where did, mom, where did mom go? Out. And here's one of the most tragic parts of the series. Um, where's breakfast? Let's go do something. Yes, nice and smooth. Good, just like that. You're doing fine. Much better than last time. Oh yeah, Lewis has been helping me. Has he? Good. Good. Okay. Oh, are you using both feet? Yeah. No, wait, wait. No, Walt, you can't do that. I believe this is the only time Walt calls his son just plain Walt. Stop, Walt, okay? Except for also right there and a bit later in this scene. Don't set limits for yourself, Walt. Prepare, Walt, for the brakes, the brake, the brake, the brake. I'm braking! You're using both feet again! Until Walt gets mad at him and switches to... Lynn? There's some inconsistencies outside as the camera goes back and forth, such as this scene magically switching to this. Back at the repair yard, Clovis follows the trail of blue footprints to Jesse. Smell like shit. It's a long story. So I fixed up your felonious rolling laboratory here. Make it a grand count in the toilet. Plus the 500 you already owe me and you're good to drive on out of here to someplace far away. Upwind. He should have said downwind. I just don't have the money at this particular moment. Clovis, come on. Something called methylamine? Jesse breaks back in, this time knowing not to put all his weight on the porta potty. Holy shit, how much? to apologize. I want to make sure that we don't lose contact. Is that it? God, how long are you going to do this? Okay, my right hand to God, I'm not having an affair. Several times, Skylar's purse strap goes between being way over the edge and slightly over the edge. No more of these, these obvious, desperate breakfasts. You don't want to lose contact with me, Walt. Good. Then tell me. Tell you what, Skylar? Do you know what I've done for this family? What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? I just need my half of the money and I will go. Your half? There is no your half of the money. There is only my all of it. Do you understand? You are a pathetic junkie. Too stupid to understand and follow simple rudimentary instructions. Too stupid to re- <laughs> Oh, the irony of the up signs in an episode called Down. <laughs> Walt gives Jesse the money after all. We briefly see the sky cam again, just like in episode one. And now, requested by channel member U23, here's the credits music. This is Jesse's Fallacies song, matching the music from the mini -sode. The faster chorus makes me think of the Office theme song. Thanks to all my channel members. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Next up, Breakage.